In this video, I will demonstrate how you can change the remote desktop connection port uh, connecting the terminal service and clients using remote desktop, like a Windows X machine, Windows Server machine, uh, or any terminal server on a Windows box. First of all, we're going to go into the registry. So you can click Start Run. Uh, we'll type in Reg Edit. And as soon as your registry editor opens, the first thing that you should always do is back up your registry before you make any changes. So I'll click on File, Export, and I'll just give it a name. And uh, well, I backed it up before right here in my document, so I'll just save it as the same name and overwrite the existing file. And basically, if I make any changes, I can always roll back to this to this backup. Okay, so it's just a safety precaution. Now I'm going to demonstrate how you can change your remote desktop port uh, via the registry editor. First, you go into this key, the H key local machine. Then you go to System. Control set 001. Then you go to control. You scroll all the way down to terminal server. Let me just open up wide here. You'll expand that. And then you'll go to Win Stations. You'll expand that. And here it is RDP TCP. Now in the right pane, you'll see several keys and D words, but what you are mainly concerned with is something all the way down that says port number. And as you can see, everyone knows that the default port number is 3389. Now, by changing this, whenever someone connects to this computer via remote desktop, if they just put in this computer's host name or IP address, uh, they won't get in. They will need to put in the host name on this computer, the IP address, and also the port number. Now, it's typically safe to use any port number above 1024 uh, and to be safe I use even above that uh, just 5555. Now if you have any applications or services running on your desktop you may want to ensure that you don't have conflicting ports because that can cause a big problem as far as connectivity is concerned. So that's the port I'll use for this uh, machine. I'll click OK and you don't need to restart your computer. Okay, You won't need to restart your computer. All you really need to do is close the registry editor, go into your system properties, okay, just waiting for system properties to open up, and you go to the remote tab, and here you can uncheck remote desktop, uh, you could basically disable it, and then apply the setting, and as soon as you enable it, then it goes back to the registry, and it imports those settings are live into RAM. So now when someone tries to connect to this computer they will connect to this computer using the Microsoft Terminal Services client and they will put in not only the IP address but they'll also put in the port number and here's how you do that. If this was my IP address well let's just use the host name and they'll put a colon and then they'll put the new port number. And that will allow them to connect to this terminal server. All right. But of course, I can't connect to myself. But if this was an actual host on the network, I can put in their IP address and a host um, colon and the port number. And this will create a socket. And this will allow you to connect via remote desktop using a different port. I hope this video has been informative for you. And I'd like to thank you for watching.